Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan with Her Courage to Plan. Today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my first YouTube earnings, guys, and I am so excited. It is because of your support that I was able to get a payout for the month of September. Now, if you missed the video where I talked about me getting monetized, I'll leave that linked up above. You wanna go back and check that video out because a lot of the information that I went over, some tips, I will not be sharing that in this particular video. This video is just about me sharing my analytics report with you guys and of course sharing the amount that I was able to receive from Google AdSense. So guys, what I'm gonna do is transition. I'm gonna show you my screen and just kind of walk you through the different things that I do pay attention to when I'm in YouTube studio. Now as a full disclaimer guys, I am a beginner and I do not understand all of this information. So hopefully in today's video, you'll be able to glean some information that will help you along your journey. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and transition so I can get right into the analytics report and share with you guys my YouTube earnings. All right guys, so I am at the channel dashboard in uh, YouTube studio and I like this page because it gives me a quick snapshot of what my channel is doing. So over here, the latest video performance, this is something that I look at all the time. And what YouTube does is they will compare the last 10 uploads against each other as far as, you know, how they rank. And right now I uploaded a couple of days ago, the new setup budget plan with me for November. And it's telling me that out of the last 10 videos that I've uploaded, this video is ranking um, by views six out of the 10. And that's within the first two days and it says 20 hours. So I think that is pretty good. I'm satisfied with that. Um, you will see here there's three green check marks and I like to pay attention to that. So right now it says my views, they're in the typical range for this time frame. Uh, my impressions, uh, click-through rate, and of course the average view duration. So long as I have these green checks, I'm satisfied. And if I hover over where it says six of 10, it'll actually pop out the videos that is actually ranking um, this current video up against. And so right now within the first two days, 20 hours, the top video, is the debt payoff tracker for September. So again, I do like looking at this. And I just want to, you know, say again, guys, I am a beginner, so a lot of this information I don't understand, but I'm just sharing with you guys what I actually um, look at and what I do know. And right here, there's channel analytics, and you can see the current subscriber count, and it tells you within the last 28 days, how many um, supporters have been added to the channel. So I'm very grateful for that. And here's another summary of the last 28 days showing the views, the watch time, and the revenue. So these are showing an increase and I like that as well. And over here, guys, this is news and ideas for you or you know suggestions and this is creator insider now i look at this because this is some great information that youtube um, provides for content creators just to kind of help their channel um you know to be better and to just glean some great information and just keep you updated with what youtube is doing so i do like that and then for uh, down here, it also tells you your recent subscribers. It'll show you that. So I do like this page. This is just a quick snapshot. Now right here, um, it says go to channel analytics. I can click this and it'll take me to the channel analytics or I can click over here to the left and it'll take me to my actual uh, channel analytics. So I'm going to click analytics on the left. And right here is the overview and these here uh, tabs you've got overview you've got reach engagement audience and revenue and so I typically stay within the overview I do look at the reach but again I'm not really you know well versed in it I kind of go over it just a little bit 
engagement. I look at this sometimes, but um, most of the time I jump over to revenue. So overview, reach and revenue are the tabs that I kind of, you know, make sure that I'm looking at more often. So right here under the overview, it just tells me within the last 28 days, the amount of views that um, my channel received. And then, of course, it says here that um, I've had 632 less than usual views within the last 28 days. So that's what it's ranking. Um, then here, of course, it tells you about the watch time. It's about the same as usual. It says um, the subscribers. It shows here that it's down. Um, right here, when you hover over it, it'll tell you your typical which is like 58 to 97. So it's telling me it's like 28 less than usual. And then my estimated uh, revenue. So this here is behind. It says previous two days processing. So just make sure you understand that if you're looking at your revenue, it is definitely behind. And right here where you see these here icons, these little play buttons, these are the uploads. So it tells me, you know, when I upload a video, you know, how many views that video um, received. So I like looking at that as well. And then over here where it says real time updating live. So this here is basically, you know, current. Um, it tells me that I've gotten 313 views within the last 48 hours. And this guys, this here bar graph, I do pay attention to because if you hover over it, it lets you know how many views um, have been received during a certain, you know, time frame or as far as your hours. And if you're trying to figure out, you know, when people are, you know, on YouTube and, you know, watching videos and you want to, you know, see if you need to change up your upload time. This is a great way to help you make that determination. So I like looking at that as well. And down here, it just shows again the top videos in this period, which is within the 28 days. And it shows, you know, the first 10. And of course, you can click see more. And again, I'm not going to go through all of these screens because I don't want the video to be too long. If you want it to dive deeper into a particular video analytics, you can click on this see video analytics and it'll take you. Um, a little deeper into that particular video. Now here where it says reach, I'll click on that. And so right now um, it says the impressions. Now impressions are how many times your video thumbnails were shown to viewers. So this here, it says it's up 5%. So I like looking at that, that is great. Now this here, the click through rate, this measures how often viewers watch the video after seeing an impression. So it says within the last 28 days is down 1%. So that's not bad. And then the views here on this screen here, it says it's up 9%. So this kind of, like I said, is on one screen, it says it's down. And then here it says it's up guys. So again, I'm just not well versed at how YouTube, you know, does this, but I'm just going with it. And right here, you can always change what you're looking at. See, it's automatically defaulted at the last 28 days. But guys, you can change it to the last 90 days, the last year or the lifetime of your um, channel. Or you can go drill down by month. And I like to drill down by month to actually see exactly what I was doing in that particular month. I don't generally use the custom, but you can use that. Down here, traffic source types. Now, this is a um, unique feature, and I do love this. It tells you where the viewers are coming from. So browse features, if you hover over that, it's traffic from the home page, home screens, the subscription feed, and other browsing features. And right now, it's at 42% uh, for my channel. Um, YouTube search is 18.7%, and this is just using the search terms um, to find the content on YouTube. So viewers are finding my content by searching, you know, different terms. So that's at an 18.7% rate. 
again, suggested videos um, where viewers from suggested um, appearing alongside or after other videos. So it's at 13 and a half percent. So again, guys, this information here, it is some deep information. You can go deep as you want with this. But again, like I can say I'm a beginner, so I'm still trying to learn what all of this stuff means. But I do like the fact that this analytics is definitely it is robust. You just have to know what you're looking at and being able to understand the information that is being provided to you. The traffic sources for external um, traffic to the channel. It says here through Google search, uh, through YouTube, Pinterest. Now I can understand um, through Pinterest, it's at 2.2% because I do have a Pinterest. Now, if you're not following me on Pinterest, you need to follow me on Pinterest and Instagram guys. Now on Pinterest, I do share my videos on a Pinterest board that I've created. So that is interesting. It tells me that at least somebody is um, clicking on those videos and coming to the channel. So I do like that. And then um, this other stuff I don't, you know, really go into because I'm not, like I said, well versed into that. This here engagement, um, I look at this, but I don't really kind of, you know, hone in on it. It just tells me here the top playlists that I do have because I've created different pay playlists. And within the last 28 days, my top playlist is the debt payoff tracker updates. So that's at 41.2% followed by my paycheck budgets and then monthly budgets. And then of course, um, everything else falls behind that. So mostly debt payoff tracker updates. You guys are enjoying that the most. And so um, I will go ahead and click on audience. Now, I don't really, you know, hone in on this, but guys, you can look at this when your viewers are on YouTube. Now, this here, I showed you on the other screen, the overview, but this here gives you a better view of the viewers on your YouTube channel in the actual time frame that they're on there. So again, if you're trying to figure out when is the best time to upload your video. You can use this as a guide to see, you know, when people are actually online watching videos. So that's great. You get into some demographics. Um, right now it says I have 100% females. So again, I don't know how accurate that is, but this is what they're showing. Now over here for top geographies, it shows that the United States, I'm getting most of my views from the United States, but there are other countries that are watching my videos. Not a whole lot, but um, the most is coming from the U.S. And then right here, subscription bell notifications. They even break it down, guys, to tell you um, who has, a, you know, turned on all notifications as far as a percentage. And um, I do like looking at this. Like I said, I don't go too deep into it, but it is awesome information guys now on to the revenue so i'm excited guys i have been able to receive my first youtube paycheck guys and of course it is all because of your support so again thank you thank you thank you so i click on the revenue and again this is the last 28 days i can always change this and drill down to a different month but um right now it says the estimated revenue within the last 28 days is $65 and 41 cents. So right here it says RPM means your revenue per meal and tells you how much you've earned per thousand views. So again, I'm not really real versed in that, but that's what it says. Your playback based CPM. Now this here is uh, what the advertisers paid per thousand monetized playbacks. So there's a delay again as far as what this um, amount is, but I do know depending on the content and the videos, this can be much lower 
um, like in single digits or it can be much higher guys it just really depends on the content that you're creating on your channel and of course the videos and down here it gives a snapshot of the monthly estimated revenue and so so you all know that my channel was monetized the end of june so i was able to uh, earn 28 dollars 78 from you guys watching the ads in june however google adsense they will not pay out unless you meet that $100 threshold in your Google AdSense account. So even though I did not meet the threshold payout in June, that money was still available and July added to it. And so in July, I earned $65.41. And then in August, I earned $62.41. So again, these are estimates, but once YouTube um, go in and of course they reconcile generally about a week before you should see the information in your actual Google AdSense account. Um, but right here in YouTube studio, this gives you a great estimate of what you're going to earn. And so by the time I hit August, guys, I was able to, you know, get that payout because the monies were over the hundred dollar threshold and if you add these three numbers up it does total 156 dollars and 60 cents and that is what youtube paid me guys in the month of september so that was just awesome sauce and thank you guys again so much i really do appreciate that and so right here with september at 58 dollars and 84 cents i've earned and then in october you'll see right now thus far i've earned 56 dollars and 25 cents so it looks like i will receive a uh, payout in november so right now it's looking like i'm receiving payouts maybe every other month I would love to receive every month um, at the same time guys I'm grateful for anything that is earned so it is all because of your support all right so I am at the Google AdSense homepage, and right here you'll see it says last payment $156.60 and it says in my Google AdSense account I have a balance of $58.84 and guys, this here, it updates, like I said, about a week, maybe a week and a half before payout time, before like around the 21st. And um, I just, like I said, I know it's a huge delay, so I just want you to be aware of that. When I click on payments here on the left, it gives me a, uh, just a, a snapshot. It tells me that my last payment was issued on September 21st for the $156.60 and right now it's still showing um, $58.84 that's in my Google AdSense account. I have not reached the threshold yet but once they update the system um, Google AdSense account gets updated like I said closer to um, payout time it'll probably update like I said a week before payout time in November it'll show that total amount earned in the month of October and then this threshold bar will be blue and down here it shows your transactions and you can click view transactions and it'll break down um, the payments and when they were actually sent to the bank so on the 21st it shows here $156.60 was sent and right now, again, it's showing for September the earnings that are sitting in the Google AdSense account. So, like I said, I like looking at this, guys. It is very interesting to look at and it's great information to have. But for the most part, I am mostly, you know, paying attention to my analytics in YouTube Studio. So, yeah, guys, that is basically it. Let me know down in the comment section, did you enjoy this video? And do you want me to continue to do like a um, analytics report? Maybe every time I earn um, monies from YouTube right now it's every other month. So maybe maybe quarterly or, you know, if it, if it goes to uh, monthly, 
maybe monthly I don't know if you like this type of video guys so like I said I am a beginner but I wanted to just share with you all what I do know all right guys you already know the deal I'll see you later bye